Anxiety is tearing people apart, right and left. It's wrecking families, it's raising blood pressure, it's giving people heart attacks, strokes. Uh, it's making life seemingly undesirable and unimaginable for so many people. This is leading people to hop on medications that they did not need, um, which is leading them to dependence and overall lower quality of life. This is not reasonable. We, can't, we cannot let this be this way. There must be a better way, right? There has to be a better way. Yes, I'm telling you there is a better way. I'm Dr. Matt Angove, and uh, I'm here to show you that there is a better way to deal with anxiety and uh, the challenging experience that it is uh, to um, overcome. Because you know, you f when you have anxiety, you feel out of control. It can seem like all these external forces are literally ambushing you, and uh, you know you're completely helpless. What are you going to do? Uh, you know, these are not. This is not something you're creating. This is something that seems like it's coming on you, right? Um, so you're, if, that, if you are that person where anxiety is a daily routine, or you can you can feel the anxiety starting to percolate, uh, now is the time to make an adjustment. Don't wait till it's on you. Don't wait till you're going to the ER because of a panic attack or you're waking up in the middle of the night gasping for air and um, you know feeling like your head is spinning, your heart's racing, you're, you're having cold sweats. Do not wait until that point. Literally, the day you start feeling like my body's a little out of control, anxiety, stress is starting, stress is starting to build, it's that day it's paramount that you identify what are the preceding, the precipitating factors that are leading to this anxiety and make adjustments right now. Do not wait. I've seen so many patients, so many people who started out with just, uh, I'm, I'm stressed out, um, I'm feeling stressed out, uh, and they, they didn't change their life routine. They just kept going on, thinking it'll just get better. And then six months, a year later, guess what? they go to the ER because they're having these crazy sensations, these panic attacks, um, or they come into the office and now they're on a medication, or two medications, or three medications, uh, and they're unable to you know, cope with work, they're unable to cope with their children, or what they are able to do because of the medications is at a much, much lower degree than they could do otherwise. So what adjustments can we make? You ready? Here we go. First thing is we gotta get rid of all negative media. Every bit of fear-based media you need to cut out of your life. You hear me? If they're talking bad about other people, other humans, or they're discussing you know, all the atrocities that are happening in the world, that media needs to be gone, 100%. The thing is, your body is not in a place, your being is not in a place, your, your nervous system, where it can process that kind of stuff right now. So it's just gonna drive you deeper into a fight or flight mode. So it's gotta be gone. Number two, uh, I would look at hope. what hope-based media can you consume or are you not consuming that you should start consuming. And I would literally start pumping hope-based, life-based media into your being. Uh, I'd read your Bible. I would check out Ephesians 1 and see what God has to say about you as his child. I know it's going fast, but we've got to keep rolling here. <laughs> Number three, uh, I would look at your sleep habits. Are you taking time to sleep? And is the sleep you're getting, is it quality sleep? If it's not, or you can't sleep, you know, or have an insomnia, then uh, you need to talk to your naturopathic doctor and we gotta get that figured out. Because you're not sleeping, it's gonna be hard to overcome anxiety. Number four, uh, what is your food consumption like? Are you going to fast food? You know, eating processed food all the time or eating lots of flour, sugary foods, soda pops? If you are, we gotta cut that out. That's putting your body in a fight or flight mode. We need high fiber, we need colorful foods, we need fruits and vegetables, oats and buckwheat and nuts and seeds, uh, lentils, beans, grass-fed beef and free-range meats. That's what we need. That's what your body's asking for when it's a state, in a state of fight or flight um, mode. Number five, are you hydrated? Or are you just pounding coffee and black tea and matcha and sports drinks? You gotta, if you're not hydrated, your body is stressed out. 
literally every cell in your body is ticked off at you. And you know what? That's gonna make anxiety so much more likely to occur in your body. It's, you're, you're literally taking away from your margin uh, in your life if you are in a de dehydrated state. So we gotta get hydrated. We need purified water going into us on a regular basis. I would even consider adding in an electrolyte mix. I'm gonna make an awesome one that you can use in the future. But right now I just have to get whatever's, whatever's available out there. Um, but use an electrolyte mix to put in your water to help you hydrate, increase your blood volume, and give yourself more margin to work with. Um, and then on, you know, on the other side of the fact that they may be a little dehydrating, you know, these, these uh, sports drinks and energy drinks, uh, you know, they just, they turn on all that adrenaline. So no good. All right. Number six, are your bowels moving? Are you constipated um, or having diarrhea? Uh, if your bowels are not functioning appropriately, where you're, which means like having a bowel movement most days um, that is pretty consistent and is not um, painful or constipating, uh, then um, you need to make it happen. We got to make sure your bowels are working on a regular basis. Otherwise, you know, you're, you're basically creating self-induced um, toxicity. You know, your, your body's, if you're constipated, you're reabsorbing so much junk that the body would otherwise want to get out of you. Uh, and that is going to create more and more stress and havoc on your system, making it harder to overcome or have margin to work with when life on the external part of things gets more intense. All right, number seven, we're almost there. Do you wake up running? or do you go to and, and end up going going to sleep running or are you able to um, you know take a moment to uh, relax during the day and say you know what, I'm just gonna take a moment here sit down lay down stand ah, and take in some really really deep breaths smile while you're doing it are you able to do that if you aren't you got to set up a time it could be one minute twice a day one minute three times a day five minutes twice a day get it going so your, your body literally has a moment to jump into parasympathetic rest relaxation mode um, and, and you, know, you actually create the opportunity for peace to manifest. If you're going, 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 you know what that's saying? It's saying you're scared that somebody else is going to get in front of you. So you have to keep running. You have to keep racing. It's going to be all right. You know what? If you're having panic attacks, you're in the ER, uh, you're getting behind. You're getting behind fast. So you're much better off taking a moment, taking five minutes, 10 minutes, 20 minutes in a day and relaxing, taking the steam off things, taking those deep breaths, smiling. Smile, a smile can go a long ways. Uh, I've talked about it many times, but you know, smile, smiling changes all these, this neurochemistry in our brain, all for the benefit. So take the opportunity to do that. All right, number eight, do you have a regular fitness routine? If you do not have a regular fitness routine, now is the time. It was, a, it was already the time last week, a year ago, you should have started then. But if you haven't, um, now's the time to get it going. If you haven't been on here much, then um, you may not have heard all the amazing things that uh, f being physically fit and performing exercise activity does for us. But it is tremendous. And uh, you know, time after time, literally 100% of the time, when strenuous activity is put up against uh, antidepressants and anti-anxiety medications, strenuous activity on a consistent basis wins. Uh, you know, it does so much more for us in stabilizing our mood, stabilizing um, our well-being than um, these medications can do. And it literally is building health in us. It's not just you know giving us this like uh, pseudo um, sense of uh, well-being. It's literally creating well-being, and this well-being is going to last. So grab a buddy and get that burn feeling going in your muscles, start sweating and um, make some fitness goals and then go earn those goals and watch how your body just loves it when you, um, you know, get that dopamine hit because you met another goal. It's so exciting. When you get fitness and become fitter, you're gonna love it. All right, number nine, get your labs drawn you know check b12 levels check folate levels check inflammatory proteins like crp get your thyroid levels checked your iron levels check hormone levels testosterone make sure your general chemistry is in line because um, if that's not good you know that's that's kind of an easy way to look at um you know particular nutrients that might be off that are giving you less and less margin to work with when we're talking about an anxiety state uh super valuable um and i you know i've seen so many crazy things happen by just you know a simple addition of 
iron or a simple addition of B12 or folate that was lower, s simple tweaking of, of thyroid um, hormones. And you know, next thing you know, the person's feeling like they're back to themselves again. Uh, and, and, and they thought you know, they, were, they were way off the whole time and they weren't. So number 10, uh, you can utilize herbs and amino acids uh, you know, supplements to promote that parasympathetic, that rest relaxation response in the body. You know, I use these all the time. They're a, they're a great way for in between um, to uh, help a person, patient yourself, overcome uh, situationally, and you know, literally just give yourself that little bit more margin uh, that you need. Uh, to make maybe the other decisions you want to make, like getting exercise done, sleeping better, uh, you know, um, doing a stretching routine. It'll just give you that little bit of a buffer. Um, and I've used, uh, you know, some of the DR wholeness products like um, cortisol metab at nighttime, especially adrenal refresh in the morning time. Ashwagandha is a great herb. Uh, OT from Elite Fuel is an awesome one for sl helping with the sleep response and quality of sleep. Uh, the Mag Complete, um, which is a specific type of magnesium we have at DR Wholeness um, that uh, actually increases magnesium levels in your nerve fibers, which is amazing. It's the only type of magnesium that's been known to do this. Um, and then of course, B vitamins, uh, the Stay Well multivitamin I've seen be really helpful. So uh, there's a lot of super cool things um, within the nutritional spectrum that can help a ton. And uh, you know, the cool thing about, or another cool thing about uh, nutritional interventions or supplemental intervention, herbal interventions, is that they just help the body do what the body knows is best. Uh, and they don't you know, come, like, take authority over the body like a pharmaceutical, a Xanax, you know, a Celexa, you know, what, how these medications work on the body. They take over the body. They force the body to do something um, that it otherwise would not want to do. Whereas herbs and you know, nutrients, vitamins, that kind of thing, they, they just help the body do what is already in its best interest. Um, so there's no dependence, there's no withdrawal, that kind of stuff. Uh, so that's the deal. You can overcome anxiety. Uh, I've seen it happen so many times, uh, so many times. And in the, in the craziest situations, people having panic attacks every day, going to the hospital, you know, multiple times a week, that kind of stuff. I've seen people overcome it. So you can too. Don't think you can't. Don't let anybody tell you can't. Don't let anybody tell you you have to be on medication for the rest of your life. It's the only way. Uh, it's going to take more effort. It's going to take a daily uh, investment on your part for sure. Uh, but it's going to be so worth it. And um, you know it won't happen in a day. But as you consistently build in he a healthy routines, life-giving routines, uh, you know you're demonstrating that you're a health accumulator. And as you accumulate health, guess what? health happens. Health is a state of peace, a state of parasympathetic dominance. That's what the body wants it to be in, that rest and relaxation state, you know, 99% of the time. It just jumps into the sympathetic, that fight or flight state, you know, just if there's a bear or if there's a car coming at you or somebody wants to punch you in the face. Um, but outside of those moments, you want to be in that parasympathetic, that rest relaxation state. So put into, put into practice a few of these things. I mean, if you're having panic attacks right now, put in practice all of them. Don't wait. Just start going down the list and start putting them into practice. Uh, and watch. I would be shocked, literally shocked, if um, you put these 10 things into practice, if you don't notice that um, anxiety, depression uh, go down to almost nothing. And uh, your body's capacity to manage stress, manage the environmental insults, the life insults, don't go through the roof. Uh, Plus, your motivation will become better, your life efficiency will be better, your enjoyment of life will be better. This is good stuff, right? So uh, if you've dealt with anxiety, you've overcome anxiety, you've found things that are uh, super, super helpful for you, then please comment below because what helped you could very well help another person get to that place much, much quicker. Um, and just imagine, I mean, you notice from yourself how much better you feel and how it's affected your life and your work and relationships uh, and your health. Uh, you know, imagine if you can help somebody else get to that place that much quicker, because um, no doubt, you know, you would wanted somebody else to help you get there quicker. So comment below if you have anything that you can share with us, share with the community about how you um, overcame and the, the tweaks and the little things you did that, that have allowed you to stay in this place of um, anxiety for your living. All right. Hope this is super helpful. Uh, I'll be back again, as always. 
You can keep sending in your questions and I'll keep uh, answering them. And hopefully you find this stuff super helpful and it just empowers you to accumulate health day after day. All right, talk to you later.